of the truths, truths is true news, news you can trust. Subscribe here to receive true news. Today the true news is about a CIA sanctioned Osama Bin Laden doll on sale. That's right, a CIA sanctioned Osama Bin Laden doll on sale. You want to know more about that, don't you? Because why would you have a doll of Osama Bin Laden? Is there a reason to do it? Let's find out. Antonio, an unconventional weapon the CIA planned to use against Al-Qaeda has been revealed. The agency began developing this Osama Bin Laden action figure in 2005 to turn children and their parents against the real Bin Laden. Firstly, when do action figures turn you against anything? I already have makes me like Osama Bin Laden, just seeing him made as an action figure. I mean, when I was a kid, when I had my like Star Wars figures, Han Solo and Chewbacca, who I shamefully sometimes made play the part of Teen Wolf, uh, made me love the films and the figures. Give you someone, give me as a kid, there's Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> I mean, I love Osama Bin Laden. Al Qaeda is fantastic. So it's. Already a really bad idea from the CIA. What other ideas are they having that they're not telling us? Its face was painted with the material that peeled off, and underneath it, a red devil face Bin Laden with piercing green eyes and black marks. Also cool, here's a bit of a description of the doll, because it's not available for auction. Bids of already two and a half grand have already come in. The description of the doll is this. Scarce, a nearly unbelievable prototype of Osama Bin Laden doll. I like it. Nearly unbelievable. Oh, that could never, whoa, whoo. No, well, no, think about it. <laughs> yeah, this is actually happening. Nearly unbelievable. I'm almost not gonna, but I will believe you that I was so close to not believing that then. A prototype of Osama Bin Laden doll intended to use in Arab countries in order to persuade children from idolizing their terror leader. They might as well have introduced a new cola drink called Osama Bin Laden. New Osama Bin Laden! The doll wears traditional Islamic garb. We've got to be respectful, keep it traditional, we don't insult Osama. A white removable five button robe over, robe over a four button white tunic with a mock collar with off white cloth pants and a pair of black mock velcro boots. With black mock velcro boots? Why does someone at a, at a meeting in the Pentagon, someone had to go, well I think it should have Black Mark Velcro boots. <laughs> Do you realize civilization's collapsing around our ears? Yeah, uh, but first, Black Mark, but what part of Black Mark Velcro boots don't you understand? that we're making them. To design the figure, the CIA hired Donald Levine, the leader in the creation of the popular G.I. Joe toys. He's a master at making popular toys. How would you like? Okay, we need to vilify Osama Bin Laden. Why not get toy making genius Willy Wonka <laughs> to drop Osama Bin Laden chocolates into everybody's open mouths. Part of the reason the agency chose him was because he had contacts in China that could discreetly make the figures. Contacts in China? What the CIA ain't got any? Uh, we don't know nobody in China. Who the fuck is CIA? Get on the phone. I don't know what to do. I'm nervous. What are we going to say to those guys? Hey, G.I. Joe. Yes, what? I'm busy. Could you introduce us to some Chinese people, please? Oh, oh okay. That's weird. I got no friends in China. The CIA are embarrassed. There's a dispute over how many were actually made, but one source close to the project told the Washington Post hundreds were sent to Karachi, Pakistan in 2006. I can't imagine how that made it past the idea stage. If I was at a CIA meeting and going, right, I've got to vilify Osama Bin Laden. How are we going to do it? What are we going to do? Because the thing is, is Al-Qaeda and extremist Islamic terrorist groups are becoming really, really popular. What should we do? Yes? <laughs> How about make toys idealising them and then give them to the children? Get out! <laughs> How did that get past the initial? Go on, keep talking. The CIA is not the only one that uses these unusual methods. The State Department has a Twitter account called Think Again, Turn Away. That's a confusing name. <laughs> Which one do you want me to do? Think Again, Turn Away. <laughs> That's a confusing thing to tell someone to do. Think again, turn away! And it uses it to dissuade extremist sympathizers online. Why is it that people are willing to follow charismatic, dangerous idealists like Osama Bin Laden? If only there was some way of preventing this. I know, I mean, we've tried everything. We made toys. 
and still there's this anti-American sentiment. Could it be because the US keeps bombing Muslim countries all the time? How many countries in the Islamic world has the US bombed or occupied since 1980? Oh, that's not, you don't think that's doing it, do you? How many goddamn toys do these people need? Yeah, no, I think there's a connection between this bombing. Syria has become the 14th country in the Islamic world that US forces have invaded or occupied or bombed and in which American soldiers have killed or been killed since 1980. In, since 1980, 14 countries. Iran was bombed in 1980 and 1987 to 1998. Libya, 81, 86, 89, 2011. Lebanon, Kuwait, Iraq, Somalia, Bosnia, Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, Sudan, Kosovo, Yemen, Pakistan, and Syria. Do you think that's contributed to this anti American feeling? No, I. Well, well, it couldn't be that too. Why do you think they don't like being bombed? I mean, I don't know. I'm sure you know. I mean, come on, they got the dolls. Did I say that the doll changes face? <laughs> yeah, you did. But it, that is. We all love a doll. Stop bombing Muslim countries and see how the tide turns. Watch the change occur. It's like, so say someone just bombs you. Yeah, yeah, okay, me, I'm a person. They've given you a doll. Oh, I love a doll. But remember the moment, oh yeah, suddenly the doll's not so important. That's right. Stop bombing people and then you won't need to do mad, weird, Willy Wonka schemes of dropping toys to shepherd boys from the sky to persuade them not to join Al-Qaeda. Simply stop bombing and attacking Muslim countries. Stop representing Muslims in our countries in a negative light. Try to embrace people unilaterally with great, great love. That is some truth. That is some true news. If anyone buys me that awesome Bin Laden toy, I'd like it. True news! True news! Subscribe here! Subscribe here! Subscribe here! a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Truths is like the news. If the news was true, I want some truths. Let's have some truths.